Trump may be the key to Republicans maintaining control of both houses in the 2018 midterms. A new nationwide Zogby poll of 881 likely voters in the U.S. conducted May 10, 18 to May 12, 18 with A margin of error of minus 3.3 percent shows likely voters still favor Democrats compared to Republicans in the 2018 midterms, but numbers are slipping slightly for Democrats, as more voters are undecided. Gender Both men, 42 percent, and women, 38 percent, are more likely to favor Democrats than Republicans, 37 percent, and 29 percent, respectively, in the 2018 midterm congressional elections. Support for Republicans among women has decreased from 33% to 29% since January. Support for Republicans among men remained the same since January. Age in January slight majorities, 51% and 52%, respectively, of likely voters aged 18 to 29 and 30 to 49 were more likely to vote for Democrats. These numbers have decreased significantly in May to 37% and 42%, respectively. Among millennial voters aged 18 to 29, support for Republicans gained 9%. On the flip side, among voters aged 50, Democrats and Republicans were statistically tied. Republicans lost a lead among voters aged 50 since our January poll. Income Almost every income group said they will support Democrats in the 2018 midterm congressional elections, with the exception to likely voters who earn $150,000 annually. Among this income group, 44% said they will support Republicans while 38% will support Democrats. Support for Democrats in the 2018 midterms was strongest among voters earning less than $25,000 annually. 44% of these voters said they will support Democrats, while 21% will support Republicans in the 2018 midterms. Region support for Democrats was strongest in the East, 48% to 22% in favor of Democrats, while support for Republicans was strongest in the South, 41% to 35% in favor of Republicans. The Central Great Lakes region was split, 38% said they will support Democrats, while 35% said they will support Republicans in the 2018 midterms. Likely voters in the West preferred Democrats, 41%, to Republicans, 28%. Race not surprisingly, more white voters, 38%, said they will support Republicans compared to a third, 34%, who will vote for Democrats. Among Hispanics, 51% said they will vote for Democrats in the 2018 midterms and a quarter, 26%, said they will vote for Republicans. African Americans overwhelmingly said they will vote for Democrats compared to Republicans 65% to 6%. Support for Democrats among African Americans is down 20% since January. Special demographics Two important groups to look at are NASCAR fans and Walmart shoppers. Both of these groups have moved to the left over the last decade but were instrumental in electing President Trump in 2016. Right now, both favor Republicans slightly in the 2018 midterm congressional elections. NASCAR fans said they prefer Republicans, 41%, to Democrats, 36%, and both are tied at 40% among Walmart shoppers. In January, both groups favored Democrats. As of this writing, according to the numbers, the 2018 midterms favor Democrats. But as we know, this is an imperfect way to judge the race due to district-specific issues and how congressional districts are drawn. As we can see from the numbers above, likely voters prefer President Trump to Democratic leaders when it comes to growing the economy and keeping America safe. What's important here is the numbers among the key groups, millennials, women and independents, who will be a factor in the 2018 midterm elections.
When it comes to the economy, independents favor Trump 32% to 22% rather than Democratic leaders and Trump ties Democratic leaders with women both 34% and millennials both 36%. When it comes to keeping America safe, independents 32% to 29% favor Trump and he keeps things close with millennials aged 18 to 24, 44% to 32% in favor of Democratic leaders and women 41% to 34% in favor Democratic leaders. Could Trump prove to be the difference maker for Republicans in 2018? The data does point in this direction but the election is still six months out. Now Republican congressional candidates must decide if they want President Trump to blaze the campaign trail for them. That could prove to be wise at the moment. Please click here to view the methodology statement.